Okay, so once again, it's Rock Flesh at Sweden Rock. Uh, and right now, we've got the Oath Throne with us. Yeah, so Gustav and William. Yes, yes, that's right. Thanks very much for joining us Thank today. You, us. Um, I, you were just saying that some technical difficulties uh, holding up the, the rest of the band and stuff, is yeah. it? So, how, how are you feeling about that? Is it anything super major? Oh. No, I mean, at, at this point we have everything sorted out, all the sort of logistics. There are some things that we need to, to work out still, but most of them, for, for the most part, now we can just relax until we go up on stage. And then. You guys are on this evening, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, 9 p.m. at the Piston, Piston Head stage? Yeah, that's right. Awesome, so, awesome. Can't wait for it, can't wait for it. So, um, Melodic Death Metal? Yeah, is that what we're is that what we're talking really? Yeah. I mean, how how would you describe your music to anyone who doesn't know you? I, I mean, the thing is, we, we hate when we are sort of discussing by ourselves. Like, what what are we? Because we I feel like we are melodic death metal, but we're not like the traditional mel melodic death from from like the Gothenburg sound. So yeah, so it's it's like a really obnoxious. Like distinguishment between <laughs> between these, but overall, I'd say some sort of metal uh, with melodic, um, you know, influences. Yeah, exactly. I prefer to just simplify things and just say there's good metal and there's bad metal. And <laughs> exactly. Hopefully, most most people think we're on the good side. So yeah, I mean, you know, we just say with the Sanctum guys that often it's uh, the best bands are the bands that you can't pigeonhole because they're bringing lots of different influences in and they're not just a generic pigeonhole kind yeah. of genre. Yeah, so as you sure. say, good music's good music. Music, yeah. Bad music, bad music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt really bad for Inflames when they sort of like stepped out of their comfort zone and released like Sounds for Playground Fading and all those rusted nails and all those uh, uh, tunes because uh, a lot of their like OG fans were kind of bashing them for yeah, exactly. stepping out of their comfort zone. I think artists should just be you know allowed to do what they yeah. do. Do what they do. Artists got an art, you know. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. I think you see with like bands like uh, Bring the Horizon and stuff yeah. that yeah. obviously across their kind of you know history of changed dramatically their sounds and you know, sure. kind of gone back again. Yeah. It's, it's always about staying modern, I think, like Deftones are a good example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Stay, staying yeah. modern, definitely. Yeah. So influences in yeah. Flames, I'm guessing. Yeah, in yeah. Flames, uh, I would say um, the Black Dolly Murder, uh, even though we're, we're not as fast as them, we still love their music and have, you know. <laughs> Rapping. <Right, right, right. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, then I'd say Psylosis as well. It's oh, huge, excellent. It's yeah. a huge influence and uh, yeah, I, I would say those are like the, the household metal names, a little bit of At The Gates as well. Yep. Um, yeah. But then there are like, I know our Jumna, our guitarist, he loves Amba mm. as well and has like had a lot of pop and um, pop influences there. And then um, I have uh, grown up with like Event Sevenfold and, uh, yeah. and Disturbed and these like classic. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, Anyone asks me what my favorite band is, I still say it's just down. <laughs> yeah. I, I can listen to the same tunes that they, you know, they have. They released like two new singles a couple of years back, but for the most part, uh, it's like the same tunes for 20 years I've been listening to, yeah. and I still get goosebumps when I hear the finale of Chip Suey and stuff uh, like that. So, amazing. and Soldier Side and Holy Mountains, like every single album they released, I can still listen to, yep. non-stop, and still get the same feeling like yeah. I yeah. got when I yeah. first listened to them. Also, I'm kind of new to the band. I, I've only been a member for I was, like I was going to say, yeah, uh, yeah, a bit more than a year now. And uh, so my influence is mostly uh, as a potential frontman. We're always like I, I always looked at the frontmen yeah. and tried to emulate their sound. So I have like Randy Bly, Corey Taylor, uh, those kinds of uh, frontmen, like the yeah. really screamy, you know, get the crowd pumping. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. definitely. I saw Avatar last night. And yeah. Like Johannes is just like a force of charisma and and, and chaos on stage. It's something to behold. Like every exactly. time I see them live, I just yeah. yeah, holy shit, that's the standard. I think like yeah, Avatar and Clutch are both on at the same time. I managed to catch a bit of both of them. Yeah. And it's like two great frontmen. Yeah. There. Quite different styles of getting the crowd going, but real showmen. Yeah, 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 yeah. real showmen. Um, so with regards to writing and stuff, the writing experience, mm -hmm. do all those influences mean, uh, come in, like even the pop influences as you say, but how do they feed into the writing process? Is it something you sit down and write or is it quite organic on the road, that kind of thing? No, I'd say we usually sit down and write. Um, now we have like a, 
we, we've been trying like different ways to, to see what works best for, for writing. Us usually before we used to be in the rehearsal studio and then we sort of write together all in like one homogenous like group. But now it's sort of turned into like I come up with maybe an idea and like a riff and then we go to the studio, record it and then we sort of add it inside the, the studio. Yeah. Uh, and then just uh, patch everything up together to see like what, what can we make out of this. Yeah. And then with that, with the freedom, then we're like able to really infuse all of our influences into it because we have that like opportunistic freedom that we can just put in whatever we want and, yeah and exactly so it's uh, it's been it's been very uh, effective i would say yeah this, yeah this sort of writing method and that 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 kind of change up i guess partly to well, do with you yeah, yeah, I, I, i've been yeah. i've been super stoked this is now I can actually be a part of the writing process because I wasn't involved at one during the Blood Moon no, era, yeah. so to say. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, I've been I've been uh, uh, contributing here and there with some lyrics and yeah. some melodies, and uh, yeah, I'm fucking stoked for it. Um, I, I haven't really been involved in the mu uh, instrumental part of it, yeah. but the vocal and the melodic and the lyric writing. Slowly, slowly but surely, I'm, I'm getting into that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I, I suppose for Bloodbound, uh, well, because that was what 2021 release. Yeah, exactly. So, um, pandemic would have played a role, uh, a large role in you know, both the release yeah. kind of schedule and stuff, uh, but as well as the writing. Um, did that? Because I think what your EP before that was kind of 2018, wasn't yeah. it? So, did did the pandemic um, offer you an opportunity? To, to deliver that full length album or what do you find it a stumbling block with regards to trying to kind of you know, tour, you know, tour the, the EP and, and that kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, the thing is that we were planning on going on a tour like right before the pandemic hit yeah. uh, to go with the EP and maybe play some new songs off, uh, off of Blood Moon and then we would see like how we uh, how they would perform, what, what the reactions were, but then you know, shit happened. So then we, well, we took that as an opportunity, and uh, it sort of became a, a natural process that since we can play live, yeah, let's let's write some music, yeah, instead. And it, I mean, it tur turned out well, but I think uh, I think now we're ready for our, for a new new stage of. of of our music, I'd say. So can we expect lots of new songs tonight? Um, one, at least one new song. Uh, yeah, depending on how nice we rock are. They'll allow us, you know, who will know. Okay, let's do some of the fun questions. Oh, yeah. the door's closed behind us. That's why the lights are oh. <laughs> Locked in container. <laughs> 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 my desolate room. No lights, no music. <laughs> <laughs> Those influences now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, if um, the overthrown were a drink, mm -hmm. alcoholic or non-alcoholic, yeah. um, what drink would they be and why? That's, that's a really difficult question to answer. That's a, that's a good question though. There's no wrong answer, remember? Oh. <laughs> I'd like to look at myself as like the lime that just ends up in the drink <laughs> at the end. <laughs> oh, the thing is, this would be a question for Jung Nar, guitarist, because he works uh, here in Sweden at Systembolaget, which is like the, uh, the alcoholic... Uh, Where you can buy alcohol. Yeah, yeah. The monopoly of, you know, of, of alcohol. <laughs> but I, personally, I would say that maybe we're like a rum and coke. Yeah, the line fits well then. Yeah, 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 so yeah. The Cuba Lingra, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, metal. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I'd, I'd say probably that. The, the reasoning would be that we have some of the grittiness of the, of the rum, but some of the sweetness from the coke. Yeah, with that's the smooth. Yeah, smooth. Yeah, smooth. Right. And the sourness, and the sourness <laughs> of the lime. I feel like maybe, <laughs> like, like you already knew the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew watching on the videos. Hold on, I just need to tick on my script. Yeah, it's like, uh, 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 yeah, 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 good, good answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. um, who throws the most ridiculous poses on stage out of the band, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 guess, yeah. I think whoever owns up to it probably does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I think probably is just we we have like the the comfort of being behind our instruments, yeah. but you you can do whatever you want. So yeah, I yeah. usually do as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good selling point. Yeah, the whole performance package. The yeah. music moves me, but it moves me very ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, let the crowd be yeah, the yeah. of that. You know, yeah. <laughs> Um, if you could add any one person from the world to the band mm -hmm. as an extra member, who would it be and why? 
doesn't necessarily have to be a musician. It could just be a random could person. Be anyone. But yeah. We're the greatest band possibly ever. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, I would say Tom Waits. Tom Waits. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I think he's like the epitome of creativity. So having him in in any band would be an asset. I think. So yeah, Tom Waits. That's a pretty good answer. That's a good answer. Uh, I mean, he could provide backup growls as well. <laughs> Please, I, I would I would love Brandon Ellis from the Black Dolly Murder, but I would feel so bad playing next to him. <laughs> so fucking good. So it would be like a duality of the... Uh, exactly. I'd probably leave the band <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> we kick you from the yeah, no, <laughs> There's no use, the there's no use if, if, for me if he's there. But... <laughs> uh, okay. Um, out of all the Swedish bands playing this weekend, mm -hmm. which three bands should we not miss? Ooh. Well, it's too late to say Avatar because they've yeah. already played. But we didn't miss them, so, oh, right. so, so we can have that. We can yeah. have that because basically people should check these three bands out as well as yourself. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, let, let's see three good ones. I'd say Europe are like a staple of Swedish rock and roll history. Yeah. So just to see the final countdown would be amazing. <laughs> they're, they're icons, yeah. so definitely Europe. Um, and uh, what other Swedish bands are playing? I. Uh, I mean. I would like to give a shout out to, to our brothers in Sanctum. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Fuck, how yeah. can I forget? Absolutely. Go watch Sanctum. Yeah, Sanctum at uh, 2145. I mean, they, they didn't say them, did they? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Sanctum, yeah. I don't believe it. <laughs> so, yeah, they're going to be on stage yeah. at Sanctum. It's going to be like Family Values tour or something, you know, just like all on stage at once. <laughs> I'm yeah. like Europe uh, Avatar, but now we've already missed them in Sanctuary. Yeah. yeah, that's great. So, um, after you've played tonight, what's in store for you guys over the, the coming months? Have you got more festival appearances, tours? Not any planned. Uh, I, I think we're going to probably focus on finishing up the new material yeah. and getting in the studio. Uh, maybe have a few gigs here and there, maybe across Scandinavia or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would probably be the next stage. It's always good to uh, test drive. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. absolutely. For, yeah. Sure, yeah. For sure, yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah, no, but I think so as well. You, now it's just in the studio trying to produce everything and make everything yeah. nice and, and polished for, for the release. Yeah, absolutely. Have you, have you got a uh, album title? No. Oh, we don't, Not we yet. don't. But we have a concept though, yeah. or a, a theme, yeah. like 80s yeah. movies. There we go. Yeah. So, in the comments, oh. put your suggestions. I mean, they probably won't use them, but you know, <laughs> I mean, you can put suggestions whilst you're clicking like and subscribe to the channel, of course. So don't forget to do that. But yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's a that's that's a cool thing. Yeah, a very cool thing. Yeah. Uh, a, a topic very close to my heart, basically. Oh, that's so awesome. awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So we're huge <laughs> eighties and nineties movies nerds, and are just incorporating yeah, as much as we can into it. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So you could have like movie stars from the eighties as each song title. <laughs> and it, it, it read really well on Spotify. Just a list of eighties yeah. film stars. We'll have to consider that. Yeah, <laughs> Most sure. of the titles yeah. for the new songs are working titles, so yeah. we'll yeah. keep that in consideration. Yeah. 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 Well. You know, you heard it here first. Yeah. So, yeah. excellent. Cool. Yeah. Well, um, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you Good for having us tonight. It's a pleasure. Enjoy. Thank you. Um, we'll enjoy it. Uh, obviously, review, photos, vlog, more interviews come in. Like, like and subscribe. Um, check the site for more. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for these guys and the, the new release coming up yeah. soon. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be Rock Flash.